how to set up tasks and to do's in Smartsheet. Smartsheet kind of lends itself perfectly to this kind of thing. As I always describe Smartsheet, think spreadsheet meets project management software. Another way to put it is think spreadsheet on steroids, right? Because it does almost everything a spreadsheet can do. And then it does a whole lot of other stuff that spreadsheets don't do. So let's say, for example, that I was using this to keep track of the task of actually creating this content. So let's, uh, I'm going to copy it and paste it just to save time. So the task is going to be called, it's going to be based on the name of the content that I'm creating here, right? How to set up tasks and to do's in Smartsheet. And let's say I'm going to say it's due today, right? And we're going to assign it to me. And these columns come in uh, by default, by the way. We're going to remove these because I want to show you how to create these ones. So we're going to delete them. And I don't need a comments column because the comments can be handled right here in this discussion box, right? So I don't need the comments column. And sometimes it's nice to have that for just like high level stuff, but I think it creates confusion, especially when I'm collaborating with clients. They don't know, well, do I comment there or do I comment here? Anyway. Um, so now, in, how do we get this done? First of all, write the content. I'm going to kind of simplify this for in the interest of time. Right, then we're going to uh, record the video or write the video notes. And then we're going to record. And you see how nice this is? I can just type and go down the line. I don't necessarily want to get into the due date or the assigned to or any of that yet. I just want to list the task because I've got, and this happens to me a lot. I don't know if it happens to you, but my brain is just like rushing with ideas and I just need to get it down. I don't want to have to stop as I create each task and set up the due date and who it's assigned to. I'll come back and do that afterwards, right? So write the video, record the video, edit the video, produce the video, process it. And then we'll upload it, review, and schedule publishing. Okay, so now I've got the task list out, but check this out. Now I'm going to highlight all these tasks that I just created because they're all really subtasks of how to set up tasks and to do's in Smartsheet. And we're going to click this little guy here to indent them all. Right now I can go back and I'm going to assign this all to me. But as you can see, if I had other people collaborating with me, their names would appear here and I'd simply assign it to them and they'd be notified that it was assigned to them. So I'm just going to copy and paste my name down because this is all me. And let's say the due date of this is going to be some date in the future. Let's say I was going to get it done by February 5th. Right. So maybe I would write and record the content today, which is exactly what I'm doing. And then maybe I'll edit the content on Monday. And once it's edited, I'll produce it, upload it, review it, and schedule it, right? Now, the other thing is, I, if, let's say, now this is, let's say, if I'm doing it for me, but let's say I, was, I wanted to be able to make room in this task list to manage things that I do for other projects or other clients. So let's insert a column to the right. And I just right clicked here, insert column right. And this is going to be a drop down list. We're going to call this client. And then I've got an Excel sheet prepared on my other screen for this with some kind of sample clients here. So uh, let's just drop in. Where did it There we go. All right. So you can copy and paste from a spreadsheet. Boom, it's in. Let's insert another column right. And this is going to be project. And again, we're going to do a drop down list. And this one, I'm just going to again copy in from my list. I had some spaces in there, so we'll clean that up real quick. As you can see, it is really quick. Click OK. So now I have drop down list where I can choose client. So let's say I'm doing this for Avalara. Right? And the project would be uh, content production and social media strategy. So I'll copy that down. Oops, I always do that. All right, so, and now I'm going to save. Control S, or you can click the little save disk right there. Now I want to create another series of tasks, right? So I want to, you know, again, I want to keep track of everything here. So let me create something else. Um, I'm going to actually just copy, and I love this too, the way you can just copy and paste stuff in. So I'm going to leave a space there and copy it in. So this is a series of tasks that I did. Um, 
And again, I have uh, write content. Where did you go? There. So this is another task with subtasks. And I've got a typo in there. Right? Actually, this is the master task. These are the subtasks. This is to create a certification training program for somebody. So now I'm going to delete this row. And the reason, by the way, that I left a space is because otherwise, if I put the task in right here, It assumes that this is a subtask like the others. So since I know that that's the behavior of Smartsheet, I, uh, you leave a space. Then, of course, you can delete the row when you're done. So uh, call client to get started on project. So the question is, which project is this? So now we go over here. We pick a project. And let's. this is the certification. Pro or let's say this is just another content uh, and social media strategy. We'll pick a different client. We'll pick on BQE software, right? And we're going to get that all added in. And let's say that's going to be on Monday. And then everything else thereafter is going to happen pretty much on Tuesday for the setup of the product project. And so these are going to be subtasks. And again, I can copy these down. All right, one more project we're going to add in here. So let's say that this one is for my friends at Scalus. And we're going to do their certification program, right? And so the parent level, the master kind of list, should be really the latest date, right? The subtests have to happen in order for the whole project to be completed. So this is really the whole project completion, right? So let's say this has to be done by end of February, which means this is going to get done, let's say, on February 5th. And we'll record the videos. Monday the 8th and we'll edit them on the same day and once we're editing them it's quick to produce them upload them review them and then submit for client approval so this is how you might start laying out a task list for with multiple projects and like I mentioned in the write-up uh, in a future video I'll show you how you can then let's say you want to take a project like this and you know this is kind of your master list but you want to be able to kind of drill down with really detailed information about this project you, sh you certainly can I'm going to show you in a future video how you would create that project then link it back here so you can easily jump back and forth between them but the idea is to have one master list that's got at least everything at a high level because one of the challenges is being able to get some kind of reporting out of the system that lets you see exactly who needs to do what and on what day right so that's the beauty of this, is now I've got everything in one place. And if I want to filter by due date, I can do that. I can filter the column. And I can say anything with a due date, well, if it was all prior to today, I could see what's past due by saying anything with a due date less than today, right? And if I do this, it's going to give me a blank sheet because everything's dated in the future. But you get the idea. And then I'm going to remove the filter to get everything back in here. Now let's say I want to see everything that's assigned to me. Again, use the filter. Now watch this. Let's say I want to see everything that needs to be done on February 2nd. So let's filter for the date. And I want to show you something here. I know that based on what you've already seen, you get how to do that. But watch this. So I want to see everything that's due on uh, February 2nd. But notice down here where it says show parent rows. That's going to be important because remember I had the parent rows dated in the future the way they should be. Um, but when you're looking at a report like this, you want to see what the you, you want to get the context, right? So even though you want to see everything that's due on February 2nd, you still need to see the parent row so you know kind of what they're part of. And when I do that, I get all these tasks that are part of this project, which is the BQE software project for content production and social media strategy, right? And so this is the way I can chisel this down and I can focus on, okay, so this is what I had planned on doing, let's say today was February 2nd. And that's where I love these comment options, where this comes in um, and I can make comments right here in Smartsheet. So I like the idea as much as possible, being able to manage the whole thing from one place. I don't wanna have six different systems. So Smartsheet gives you the infrastructure that allows you to do that. You can easily add reminders, right? 
So if I need to send a reminder out to somebody to make sure they get the, the, the thing done, that's there. Um, let me show you something else. Let's remove the filter and let's go back to this one, how to set up tasks and to-dos in Smartsheet. So let's say I wanted to attach the document because I, I do the write-ups always in Google Docs, right? So here's an attachment option. I'm going to say attach from Google Drive. And uh, I have to reauthorize Google because I actually had logged out of everything. So let's go log back in and I'll allow it. And here it is. It's a recent document. So it's, you know, it's smart like that. It says, okay, maybe this is the one you want to attach because it looks like you were just working in it. And then I say close. And that way, when I want to work on it again, I don't have to go browsing through Google Drive. I just click right there and say, boom, open it up. So the only thing I don't love is that it does open it up in this other window like this. I would be much happier if it opened it up in an actual browser tab. But that's easy to do because then I can take this URL here, copy, boom. It still is a lot faster than actually having to browse through all my files and folders. So I love that feature. I love the integration with Google Drive and the other file sharing services that make it really easy to manage stuff in Smartsheet. And then, of course, when you finish a task, I love how the, this came in by default when we created, the, we used Smartsheet sort of standard task list. You check a box off and it's got conditional formatting that automatically grays the line out, which just, it's very visual. It makes it very clear. This has been completed, right? And that comes in standard. So if you want to see how to get that, uh, first of all, I'm going to save this. And let's actually come back here. Let's click the plus sign. And all you need to do is, from the templates, choose task list. And that's how I got what we started with here. And then, of course, I added the other stuff to it, as you saw. But the way this works, in case you wanted to ever create something like it or something a little different, is over here is your conditional formatting options. You click that, and right now it's got one rule that says if the done column is checked, then apply this format. So you click this format. And it's just got the strike through text and the uh, fonts are grayed out, right? So it's got, that's the font color. And then apply it to the entire row. You could apply it to a single column um, if you wanted to, but this is for the entire row, which in this case, I think that works because this way, again, look what happens. The whole row gets sort of grayed out and strike through, stricken through. You get the point. That, my friends, is how you can use Smartsheet to manage your daily tasks and to-dos and keep track of everything. Your comments, your attachments, all right here in one place. And it makes it easy to filter the list by project, by any anything you have a column for, you can filter the list for that column. You can actually have the list filtered for anything that's not yet checked off done. So once something's checked off done, it comes out of the view. You don't have to look at it all the time. So uh, that's what I love about Smartsheet. If you want a solution for managing your tasks, it gives you a lot of flexibility to sort of create the experience that you want to be able to have with it, then Smartsheet is definitely going to be the right choice for you for this kind of a process. As always, I hope you have or are having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.